Hello lovelies! So I know it's been a few months since I have shared an L update here on the channel and I just wanted to let you know that she is doing really, really well. She is 13 months old now and she is definitely entering her toddler era. So she is walking up a storm, she's starting to use lots of words, it's absolutely incredible to watch. But as I'm sure a lot of you know, with a busy toddler in the house, quick and easy weeknight meals have never been more important. That said though, I wanna make sure that all the meals I'm making are as nutritious as they are delicious because of course, Elle is eating them as well. So today I thought it would be fun to share three healthy recipes that all come together in a flash using supermarket shortcut ingredients that I absolutely love. And I'm going to get started by sharing my recipe for this amazing power green stir fry that I am absolutely loving right now. Now I'm going to get started by cooking up my meat in this recipe. I've got a little oil heating up in my skillet and then I'm going to cook up some ground turkey. Now you always have the option to swap in some ground pork or some ground chicken in this recipe. Both would definitely work, but ground turkey has definitely become a go-to in my cooking. I'm going to cook my ground turkey, breaking it up with the side of my spoon until it is no longer pink. Once that turkey is fully cooked, we can start to build in some flavor. To do that here, I am adding some green onion to my skillet as well as some minced garlic and some grated ginger. We'll get those into the pan and let them cook up for about a minute or so just until they're nice and fragrant. And then it's time to pack our power greens into the pan. Now, the secret to success with this stir fry is actually using some kale slaw mix. This stuff can usually be found in the produce aisle at your supermarket with the coleslaw mix and the packaged salads. I love this particular mix because it comes loaded with shredded kale, red cabbage, green cabbage, Brussels sprouts, and broccoli. So we can honestly all agree, some of the best ingredients out there and some that we should definitely be getting more of in our diets. I'm going to pile an entire bag of that mixture into my skillet and then I'm going to hit this with a couple tablespoons of tamari sauce, which is basically gluten-free soy sauce. If you wanna use soy sauce in this recipe, you definitely can as well. I'm gonna let all of that cook up, mixing it regularly for between two or three minutes just until those greens start to soften up. And that's it guys, this is ready to be enjoyed. I like topping it off with just a little bit of freshly chopped green onion, and then I serve mine with a little side of spicy mayo, just a mixture of mayonnaise and some sriracha sauce. Of course, I skip the spicy mayo for Elle, but Greg and I absolutely love it. Guys, this is a total winner. I hope you will give it a try for yourselves. It is protein packed, super nutritious, and also happens to taste absolutely amazing. Next, if you're looking for another great one dish dinner idea, I highly recommend you try this awesome curried lentil soup. So I'm starting with my soup pot on the stove. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to that. And as soon as my oil is nice and hot, I'm going to start frying up an onion. The best part about this recipe is that if you wanted to prep all of your veggies during your Sunday meal prep, you definitely could, and then just throw them into the pot when you get home from work after a long day, and this comes together so super quickly. As soon as that onion is nice and softened, I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic and ginger into the pot. I'll give that a stir and let it cook up for another 30 seconds or so. Then it's time to add some spice. So I've got some curry powder headed in here as well as a good sprinkle of ground cumin. I like to let those spices heat up for another 30 seconds or so just to help them reach their maximum flavor potential. For this recipe, I'm also going to be adding some zucchini. Now you could add any veggies you want here, but I actually really, really love zucchini and I don't cook with it enough, so it just felt right. And then it's time to add my supermarket shortcut for this recipe, my canned lentils. So canned lentils obviously come cooked already, which is amazing. You just rinse them, drain them, and get them straight into the pot. For another great supermarket shortcut, I am also using a can of fire roasted tomatoes. You could use regular diced tomatoes as well, but fire roasted tomatoes just have a bit of a smoky flavor that's super tasty. I'm going to add some vegetable broth to this, a little salt, a little pepper, and then bring this mixture to a boil. Once the mixture has come to a boil, you can reduce your heat to medium low and let this simmer away for just about five to 10 minutes. That's really all it takes for those flavors to come together. I like serving this up simply with a good dollop of Greek yogurt and some fresh cilantro. It's warm, spicy, and comforting. Perfect for a chilly night. 
And if you can believe it guys, my next recipe is even simpler. We are making some awesome black bean tacos using some great supermarket shortcuts. You're not gonna believe how quick these are to make. I've got a skillet heating up on the stove and to that I'm going to add a good helping of store-bought salsa. You can either buy the jarred kind that you find near the tortillas at your supermarket or you can buy the fresh salsa from the deli section at your supermarket. I always prefer to buy the fresh salsa. What I love about cooking with salsa is you have to think, you already have so much goodness in it. There's onion, there's garlic, there's pepper, there's obviously tomato. So you've got a ton of flavor in your skillet already. We just wanna basically let our salsa heat up and then we're going to add our beans to it. So I've got a nice big can of beans that I have rinsed and drained. What could be simpler? I'm gonna season this up with just a little bit of chili powder and some ground cumin. And then I'm going to top this off with some salt, some pepper, give it a stir, and let it cook away for maybe five minutes or so. Really, all you wanna do is let the flavors come to life and let everything heat through. What could be simpler than this, guys? The final step, if you so choose, is just to go in quickly with a potato masher. I don't wanna mash all of my beans, but I wanna sort of mix up the texture. So you have some whole beans and some mashed, and you get this nice sort of thick filling. And then you are ready to assemble your tacos. For my tacos, I like to load on some finely chopped romaine lettuce, top it with my awesome black bean mixture, a little dollop of sour cream, some avocado, and some fresh tomato to finish it off. I serve it all up with some lime wedges and cilantro, and Taco Tuesday is taken care of. Guys, I hope you'll give all three of these yummy recipes a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo. You know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, all three of today's yummy recipes are being featured on HealthyMealPlans.com, our awesome meal planning site. I wanted to mention that we just launched our brand new homepage. It has been a long time coming, and we are so excited to share it with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it in the comment section below. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.